What do you think the average profit margin is for an independent restaurant? What if I told you that even in these challenging times, most restaurant owners are setting their sights too low? Stay with me and I'll explain in just a moment. I'm David Scott Peters, restaurant expert, coach, and creator of the Restaurant Prosperity Formula. I've been coaching restaurant owners since 2003, and I'm really glad you're here to learn. Today, I want to talk about the average profit margin for independent restaurant operators. But before I do that, if you like tips and tricks like this, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and oh yeah, that bell so you're notified my next video tip comes out. And for more tips and tricks for running a profitable restaurant or to hear restaurant owner success stories, make sure you tune into my podcast, Restaurant Prosperity Formula, found on all the popular podcasting services. Let's get right to it. Years ago, I remember the National Restaurant Association published the average restaurant, that the average restaurant makes five to eight percent profit Five to eight percent. That's only a nickel on every dollar that comes in the door. Do you want to work this hard for a nickel? Oh, and then Ohio State University years back did a study that showed 62% of all restaurants fail in their first three years of business. First three years of business. Then there's prime cost, which is your total cost to get sold plus your total labor costs, including taxes, benefits, insurance also known as controllable expenses. Well, for years, the guideline has been a 65% average that you should be shooting for 65%. So every dollar that comes in the door, you're gonna use 65 cents in people and product to deliver that product. And this just perpetuates the lower profit margins. What if I told you it's actually worse for most restaurant owners? That restaurant owners who don't take inventory values to calculate their cost of goods sold on a weekly basis and who don't budget for or track and or track labor on a daily basis run a 78% prime cost. This leads to that 62% failure rate. Now, what if I told you by implementing systems from budgeting to checklists, my members have learned that a 15 to 20% profit margin is within reach that with some hard work and a willingness to hold their managers accountable to the systems you actually put in place, they see time off, time to work from home, time to grow their businesses on top of higher profit margins. For example, by attacking his menu and taking steps to control his kitchen labor, Brian went from a 65% prime cost to a 55% prime cost. He's now making an 18.5% profit margin. Or let's look at something, maybe a lower volume restaurant. Patrick with a low volume restaurant attacked his labor cost and operating expenses to go from a 65% prime cost down to 54% prime cost. Now he's only hitting a 9% profit margin, but here's the truth of the matter. This is the first time he's actually making money in his restaurant or their Sue who attacked their menu labor costs and added management and went from a 92% prime cost during the pandemic, the beginning of it to a 57% prime cost, literally saving her business. How about one more example, Gina, and let's simplify this from percentages to dollars in 2020, her restaurant lost money on $3 million in revenue by doing the hard work. She finished 2021 with $3.7 million in revenue and a profit of over $626,000. That's a 17% profit margin. So when someone asks me what the average restaurant profit margin is, I reply that with budgeting, by implementing systems and holding your management team accountable, you should be shooting for a 15 to 20% profit margin and to ignore the averages because your restaurant's not average. The key with all of them is they took action and their first action they took was to get on a discovery call with me. The rest of it, as they say, is history. If you're tired of not being able to leave your restaurant because no one else knows how to run it, I want to make sure you know it doesn't have to be that way. You can leave your restaurant. It is possible to build a team of people who know how you want the restaurant to run with trained and responsible people in place. You can give yourself time away. What would you do if you had time away from your restaurant? Would you sleep better? Would your relationships improve? Would you feel more relaxed? 
These are all things you deserve to experience as a business owner. It's why we own our own businesses. If you would like to learn how to own a restaurant that doesn't depend on you to be successful, click the link in the description to watch a free video to learn exactly what you have to do. Also, be sure to subscribe to get my weekly tips and watch these two videos to get more information and guidance for running a successful restaurant.